Hello everyone, welcome back to our new video lesson in statistics and the topic for this video is converting raw scores to z-scores. Okay, so before we go on with the conversion proper, so let's review first what do we mean by z-score. Z-score pertains to the measures of how many standard deviation away from the mean a raw score is. So example, ito yung mga raw scores natin, in normally distributed data, and then kinonvert natin siya para maging z-scores, para ma-measure natin, so how far away, either higher or lower than the mean, a certain score is. So we have the z-score, so on the right side, we have the positive z-scores, on the left side of our normal, normal curve, we have our negative z-scores. Okay, so in converting raw scores to z-scores, we will make use of the formula z is equal to x for the raw score minus mu or the mean over the standard deviation or the sigma letter. Okay, so let's have each variable of our formula. So we have z, it pertains to the z-score. Then we have x, our raw score. Then mu is the mean and we have the, our standard deviation, our sigma letter. So, gagamitin lang natin tong formula na to para ma-convert natin yung ating raw score papunta ng z-score. Okay, so we have our first example here. So, we have our mu or the mean is equal to 15. The standard deviation is equal to 1.4. And our raw score is equal to 18. So, find z. So, apply the formula. So, we have z is equal to x minus mu over standard deviation. And then, substitute. So, x will be replaced by 18 and then mu will be replaced by 15 and then we have our standard deviation which is 1.4 so just use the calculator 18 minus 15 so divided by 1.4 and the answer will be 2.14 so ang equivalent z-score ni 18 based on our given data is 2.14 so, kung kukuha na natin ang probability yun, mas madali na siyang mahanap in our z-score table. And then, let's have our example number 2. So, we have our mean which is equal to 24, standard deviation of 2.34, and then our x is equal to 20. So, formula again. So, we have here our formula which is z is equal to x minus mu over standard deviation. So, substitute the value of each of the variable. So, x, that will be 20, and then our mu is 24. So, 20 minus 24 over standard deviation of 2.34. And then, so, kung mapapansin natin dito, mas mababa yung ating raw score kumpara sa ating mean. So, therefore, it will be a negative z-score. So, negative z-score, posible ba? Oo, posible. Bakit? Kasi yun yung mga score lower than the mean. So, yun yung score na nasa left side ng ating normal curve. So, 20 minus 24 divided by 2.34 and that will be equal to negative 1.71. So, the z-score equivalent of 20 is negative 1.71. And then, example number 3. So, let's have a worded problem application of our topic. So, Mary got a score of 65. Uh, the mean score of the class is 50 with a standard deviation of 5. So, find Z. So, find the Z-score equivalent of 65 based on our given data. So, first, we need to identify our uh, given value in the problem. So, we have our raw score, which is X, and that is 65. Then, we have the mean score is 50. So, that will be represented by mu. And we have the standard deviation of 5, and that will be represented by sigma. And then, formula, so we have z is equal to x minus mu over sigma. And then, we will just uh, substitute each of the variable in our formula. So, that will be 65 minus 50 divided by 5. So, 65 is our raw score, 50 is our mean, then 5 is our standard deviation. So, 65 minus 50 divided by 5, and that will be equal to 3. So, the answer is 3. The equivalent z-score is Three. Example number four, so consider a random variable that is normally distributed with mean of 40, standard deviation of 4, and a score of 50. So find the value of z. 
So, given naman yung mga value natin, so we have mean of 40, standard division of 4, and x is 50. So, we'll just replace our variable with the given values. Those will be 50 minus 40 divided by 4. And that will be equal to 2.5. Okay, and then example number 5. Okay, example number 5, the class mean in a 100 item test is 74. With a standard deviation of 9.4. And question, so what is the equivalent C-score of 48? So we will identify first uh, the given value in our problem. So we have a mean of 74, standard deviation of 9.4, and a raw score of 48. So let's have the formula, then substitute. So, we have 48 minus 74 divided by 9.4. And the answer will be negative 2.77. And then, for our practice problem, so this will be your turn. So, practice problems for converting raw scores to Z-scores. So, problem, we have PNRS company has 140 branches nationwide. The annual profit is normally distributed with a mean of 75 million a year and the standard deviation of 3.15 million. So, first problem, so what is the Z-score equivalent of 73 million? And problem number two, what is the Z-score equivalent of 80 million? Okay, so these problems will be left for you to do, so comment down your answer down in the comment box. And, kung may natutunan ka sa video na to, so, like the video and subscribe to the channel. So, see you again on our next video lesson. Have a nice day.